Welcome to Physics. Physics is an international channel partner of Epix USA. As an international channel partner, we offer end-to-end -end support for CSCP, CPIM and CMTD certifications. In this video, we are going to discuss about the various aspects of warehouse design. What are the major functions of a warehouse? Traditionally, warehouse serves three functions. They are receiving, storage and shipment of goods. The goods are received here and then it is stored, then it is prepared for shipment. A warehouse has two sides. One is supply side and the other is demand side. The supply side is occupied by various suppliers as well as manufacturers. On the same way, the demand side is occupied by your customers and the consumers. The thing is like on both supply side and demand side, we have variability due to various factors. On the supply side, the variability may be due to the production disturbances in a manufacturing facility. And the same way, on the demand side, the variability could be due to the change in customer demand over a period. So, we have variability both on supply side and the demand side. How to ensure a smoother supply chain? The thing is like we introduce a warehouse in between, that is between the supply side and the demand side. And this is the main value addition of this warehouse or the key purpose of the warehouse is to absorb the shock in the supply chain. So by introducing the warehouse, we are making the supply chain or variability within the supply chain a smoother one rather than a highly volatile one. Warehouse design plays a very critical role in the design of the entire supply chain. Across the world, various authors and consultants have came out with various prescriptive models for the design of the warehouse. But unfortunately, the problem is these models are very successful in certain situations and miserably fails in other conditions. To avoid this, I am recommending an open model for our consideration. What is an open model? In an open model, we don't prescribe any model, but rather we carry out a detailed analysis of the various conditions in which the warehouse has to function both in present and the future and we consider all the aspects that get into the design of the warehouse. In an open model warehouse, we carry out a detailed analysis of the various factors that get into the design of the warehouse and we list out all the factors and we analyze them in the detailed manner. Here we have listed various factors for a particular warehouse. And these factors are well interconnected and they are interdependent. Let us go through them one by one. Here, product is the most important factor that need to be considered in the design of the warehouse. What is the value of the product you are going to store? What is the nature of the product? And what is the size of the product? And several other factors. And here, when we say nature of the product, whether it is a chemical product or agriculture product or information technology product or a medical device, what is the kind of product you are going to store within the warehouse? Because this influences in a greater manner the design of the warehouse. And the next one is flow. The flow of goods in and out of the warehouse. What is the volume and what is the frequency? Then we have market. Kind of like well, where is your market located? how you need to support your market and what is the demand from the market, what is the kind of demand you will be facing from the market today and in, and, and in the future. Then about the suppliers, like where is your suppliers are located and what is the nature of the suppliers. Then the service level, what you want to provide your, uh, to your end consumers. The cost of operation of the warehouse, like is it like uh, okay to have a, a minimal cost or it should be kind of like uh, I want to provide a better customer service so I, am, I can afford a higher cost of operation. And what is the capital expenditure, what you are going to invest on the land, buildings and the machineries within the warehouse. Then the various uh, storage levels, like uh, how many levels you want to store. So all these factors need to be considered in the design of the warehouse. So when we say open model, we are talking about that this, all these factors need to be considered in the design of the warehouse which will serve your present level of operation and it will support your future needs and aspirations. We also need to consider the various factors such as the material handling equipments what we are going to use within the warehouse, the regulatory framework within which the warehouse has to operate, the insurance requirements, safety, security, the load factor that is the load bearing requirements of the particular warehouse, the local condition that means 
kind of like the area in which the warehouse is going to be located, the weather and the climatic condition of the particular uh, area, then the, the list of softwares that is warehouse management system, transportation management system, then enterprise resource planning, then how these softwares like uh, they, will, they will be kind of like used within the warehouse, then the transportation requirements. Also we need to consider a broader framework um, including social, economic, political and environmental factors that gets into the design of a warehouse. Once the macro level parameters are considered, we need to get into the various operational aspects of the warehouse. That is the number of docks required, how many shipping docks required, how many receiving docks required, the receiving area, shipping area, storage areas, then the aisle requirements, office space requirements, the restrooms, security office requirements, then what is the what is the condition kind of labor condition in the locality, then utilities such as water and power, then maintenance requirements, lighting, ventilation requirements. In this video, we discussed the various functions of the warehouse and how the warehouse supports to reduce the variability in a supply chain. We also discussed a open model warehouse design. In open model warehouse design, we don't prescribe any particular model but rather we carry out a detailed analysis and we list out the various parameters that get into the design of the warehouse. By carrying out a detailed analysis in an iterative manner, we fix the values for these various parameters that deliver the model of the warehouse. Thank you.